This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I promise you that this DJI Pocket 3 teleprompter hack can absolutely change how you make content and create content horizontal and vertical for the internet. And it only costs $20. Like I shoot most of my talking head videos indoors because something happens when I go out in public. I forget how to talk. I go completely scatterbrain. This is why I don't vlog, but I found a solution to all that and I'm using it right now, which is why I'm actually able to sound coherent. I think that there is something just more interesting and dynamic when shooting content outdoors instead of in a studio all the time. And that's what I've been trying to do more of. And that's why part of the reason why I purchased the Pocket 3 in the first place. Cause something about just holding a regular camera in front of my face just kind of looks pretentious. It's a little bit more intimidating. Something like this is a little bit more doable. Right now I am working on a video where I'm trying to replace all of my cameras with just the DJI Pocket 3, using it as my main studio camera and my on-location BTS camera. So stay tuned for that, but I just couldn't wait to make this because I haven't seen anybody else on YouTube make a video like this, and I've seen hundreds at least since the Pocket 3 launched. So this is the $20 trinket that I purchased on Amazon. It has a mount for the DJI Pocket 3, and it has a cell phone mount directly in front of it so that it's, you know, its original use is so that you can use the phone to monitor yourself because the screen on the Pocket 3 is just not very big. So if you're using it in the studio or on location and you're gonna plop it on a tripod, you can connect to the app and you can monitor yourself. So that makes sense. But when I saw this, I thought about, well, what if I use the phone and just run the teleprompter app onto the phone, okay? And because this camera has really good face tracking, I can, you know, I can't really see the screen so much, but with face tracking, I know that it's keeping me in the same portion. So that's not that important. And I could just read my script off of the phone, taking the whole pressure of having to remember everything that I'm going to say or sounding coherent in public, talking to a camera that removes that, that pressure and that obstacle for me. So I'm like, okay, this could work. What makes it so versatile is how you could even shoot some vertical content for IG and TikTok. And so when I switch the Pocket 3 to vertical mode like I am right now, the phone mount does not block the camera. And I'm using a pretty big phone. It's the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The only issue is that, and this happens to a lot of people when you have a, a flip screen camera, and a lot of the times you end up looking at yourself on the screen. It doesn't look like you're looking into the lens. And so with this, that also happens where it doesn't look like you're looking at the Pocket 3 screw, uh, the, the camera. And it even happens, even if I didn't have the phone here, a lot of the times I'll still look at the little screen and it's not a good habit to have because you're not, you're not looking at the audience. So thinking about a solution for that, well, if I'm outdoors, there's no problem with wearing sunglasses. I am outdoors, it doesn't, you know, so you can't see where my eyes are looking. So it looks like I'm looking directly at the screen. So now with sunglasses, face tracking on the Osmo, I don't have to worry about my frame per se or where I'm looking at. So I can read off the script on my phone and you know, I can still look, I still do this every now and then. You know, I'll look away when I'm reading a script just to make it look more natural. I'm just like locked, like super locked in. But now I can read the script. You have no idea that I'm not looking at you in, uh, in the camera. And so this has, well, so far, I've only used it two times outdoors. This has completely changed how I can create content now outdoors. Some things that I like about this setup, um, it's still very lightweight. It's mostly just the weight of the phone that you're, you're holding. So after maybe 20, 30 minutes, I did notice that my arm was getting tired. But the nice thing about this setup is that at the bottom here, you do have another tripod mount. So you can put a quick release plate mounted on a tripod, or you can get one of those quick, those little uh, tripod legs, and you could just mount or plop it onto something if, you, if your arms get tired. Um, but also it's great for the studio as well if you're putting this on a tripod. One thing that I don't like about it is that if you're using the wide angle lens on the Pocket 3, and if you angle your camera or you angle it a slightly like back, like, you know, you don't want to have your arm completely like out like this. You try to be more low key and you kind of tilt it a little bit. You start to see the top of the mount here with my iPhone 15 Pro. So that is a negative if you're using the wide angle lens, but uh, in no other circumstance when I, 
when I had the original lens, I wasn't seeing any part of this here. So it has a GoPro mount here. You could obviously take this off, attach something else, but for $20, I mean, this changes a lot for me uh, as, a, as, a, as a creator, but also someone that wants to film more stuff outdoors. I was also thinking about how I can use this same idea with the regular camera setup. So instead of bringing one of those portable teleprompter setups that you would attach to the front of the lens, which is it's kind of bulky, I can get a regular phone mount right here, attach it to the hot shoe mount of a regular camera. And if I wear sunglasses, again, you're still not gonna be able to tell that I'm not looking directly into the lens. That could work. I wanna take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this video, that's Squarespace. So if you're looking to start a website, blog, or even an online store, you have to give Squarespace a shot, okay? If you're using your social media as your portfolio, you're doing it backwards, okay? Your social media page isn't yours, and the quality of your work is degraded. I mean, the compression and the crop, oh. Like with Squarespace, you get your own custom domain, and you can create a professional looking website fast and easy. You don't need any coding or graphic design skills to do it. They have 24 seven customer support. If you wanna make some passive income, you can start an online store like I have and make some money while you sleep selling products. Now, if you use the coupon code Manny, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So link will be in the description. So after using this setup in public, I still find myself being really shy. Like I awkwardly, I'm talking to the camera and I see someone coming, I awkwardly just put it down and I just start fiddling with it as if I wasn't, you know, like, I don't know how guys like Camera Conspiracy can do this, can pull this off on a crowded sidewalk. Clearly, I just care too much what people think about me and how goofy I look with a camera in front of me. I don't know. Maybe I gotta time my Adderall perfectly and I'll be in the zone. I'll block everyone out, I Just tunnel vision. For me, I just really love how the Pocket 3 simplifies making content, right? The mic correct, connects directly to the unit without any extra cords or receivers, 32-bit float, it just attaches and, and it just starts working. In the case, I can stash the magnetic wide-angle lens and the ND filter for those sunny days. There's just so much to love about this, but also there's some things that drive me crazy, and I'll touch on that in my full switch video. I do have to send a shout out though to Terry Warfield and his Pocket 3 content. Again, I've seen hundreds of these videos. I have them playing on my TV here all the time. Um, and this is the one that really made me pull the trigger. And I'm glad I did, right? I told myself that in 2024, I was going to make more on location photography content since you guys have been asking for that. And I already started doing that. I already started with my first video and I filmed it on this camera. Um, and I think this may be the go-to camera for on location stuff because everyone's trying to kick me out of everywhere. So this camera really like makes the, the, the footprint smaller, I guess, when we're shooting outdoors. You got 10-bit video in here, 4K 10-bit video, and it doesn't look like we're running a big production. The link to this $20 phone mount Osmo Pocket 3 trinket will be in the description. Again, even if you're not interested in the whole teleprompter uh, setup that I had, this is still gonna be useful if you're in the studio using this camera, because now you have a bigger screen. And you'd be surprised with the smaller screen, you might have something that you don't want showing, but you know, you find out when you go on the computer, like, oh man, I wish I changed that. Or your shirt's like, you know, you got dog hairs all over your shirt and you couldn't tell, you know? So anyway, it's a clutch. This is really clutch. I hope this video helped in some way. I'll see you in the full video. Actually, the photography video is probably gonna come first and then this video, so yeah.